Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Antiheroes Anonymous, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us. I'm Ethan, and I'm the Dungeon Master for this 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons show, and this is our 67th episode. Um, going around the table, we have our players, starting with Nick. Hi, I'm Nick. I play Thaddeus, the human paladin of Asana. Hi, I'm Kay. I play Harmony, who is a wild magic sorcerer tiefling. I'm Melissa, and I play Mara Stormwind, and she's a human rogue pirate. I'm Zach, and I play Hunter, who's a warforged fighter ranger. Uh, we stream on Twitch every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time and then post those episodes to YouTube the following Wednesday. Um, throughout the show, we use a variety of custom items and even a custom wild magic table. Uh, so if you're curious about any of that that's going on, uh, that, that's what's going on. Um, music comes from Battle Bards, Tabletop Audio, and Incompetech. So if you're watching us on Twitch, you can go ahead and check the channel page for links and info to everything I just mentioned and more. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can check the video description for similar information. Uh, then, if you are still hungry for more information, you can follow us on Twitter at AntiHeroesAnon. Again, that's at AntiHeroesAnon. Um, and we do hope that you enjoy the show, and uh, we hope to see you back uh, watching again next time, too. So, a little bit of recap, and then we'll get right into it. Um, just before the party landed on an island known as Kamekame Island, they found a message in a bottle from renowned romance author, uh, novelist extraordinaire Gloriana Hartwood. Uh, Mara then scried upon Gloriana Hartwood and found that she was being held at a goblin settlement along the river. Um, on their way, tracking the river through the jungle, the party happened upon a lakeside shrine to the great spirit Byakko, the white tiger. Um, and inside, they overcame a, tribal, uh, a trial which pitted them against uh, fear and powerful foes. Um, when all was said and done and that fight was over, they earned themselves a mysterious artifact with a riddle upon it. Um, that night, a frog-like humanoid, Grung, showed up and helped the party to fight off a... That's his race. That was his race. Oh. His name is... <laughs> his name is whatever you guys want to call him. Um, <laughs> his name is Mbop. <laughs> and uh, he helped the party to fight off an attack of mm. goblins and demons, uh, including a powerful demon known as a Goristro. Uh, the Grung then asked uh, for the party's help in slaying the goblin and knoll chiefs on the island in exchange for a reward, a dagger with uh, ancient keen runes for wind god carved into it. Um, when they arrived at the goblin camp, however, the party found that neither Gloriana nor the chief was there, and after leaving to regroup, they encountered a frog hemoth in a swamp, as well as some inconsequential giant toads. Um, so many but frogs. During that fight, yeah, even more frogs appeared when Harmony's chaos amulet surged, and uh, some <laughs> slutty came through. Um... And it, there was a little bit of danger there until Harmony banished those. And that's where we're picking up. Uh, right after that, after Harmony had taken a short rest, actually all of you could have taken a short rest, mm -hmm. um, Harmony specifically needed it to reattune to her amulet. Can I spend some hit dice too, or do you think I need to concentrate on that? You can spend time? hit dice during the short rest. Because I definitely need it. <clears throat> and that's where we find the party, in the midst of this swamp. Um, next to the corpse of a dead, uh, huge frog creature with these four tentacles and its tongue lolling out like 20 feet away from its mouth. Um, that's where you are. Okay. Have we been wandering aimlessly long enough? Should we break up the ball again? Or what do you think? Maybe we'll get out of this swampy area first. I mean, well, hopefully, we like can, her, hopefully we can reach her before she moves again. Because the ritual takes some time, right? Ten yeah, it does. Or so so we minutes. should probably find somewhere we that's... Find a place to... What time of day is it? It's getting to be around noon. Okay. A little bit past. But you guys are all well sustained from the good berries oh, that yeah, they're so good. Uh, Hunter learned how to summon when he came into connection with his spiritual side again on this island. Yes. Which was fitting. That is fitting. Okay. Um, well, I think we should find a safe place first. I agree. Because okay. we're kind of in the middle of the swamp. We ran in here recklessly. We don't even know if the goblins are still chasing us. 
Can I? Were, were they before? I mean, I don't. We. I don't know. We ran. They saw us out there. Yep. Some goblins came out over their camp on these uh, fly-like creatures. No, I remember that part. I and just, then they flew back over. So I just anyone's guess whether they came back out. I'm going to move to the big chase. Although I guess if we were being chased, they would have showed up sometime during the, during the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was only what like two minutes worth of. Yeah, but we just sat time, here right? and spent what ten minutes. Oh, thirty hour, minutes or so. That's hours. true. Yeah. yeah. Well, still, I mean, if you guys also did attempt to cover your tracks, and I recall you did. One of us well. didn't. Well, yeah, but as, as a group, you did pretty well. <laughs> okay. Can Thaddeus I roll... was hacking trees with his sword. I remember that, yeah. Can I roll a, like a survival check and see if I can find some like crude shelter for us yeah. to do the ritual? Absolutely. Or we can we just could... set up. Well, the tower is a one, 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 uh, once a day thing. I got a 25. Right? No? So it's just a command word. Oh. 25. Um, but yeah, Hunter, you fan so out and go maybe tower. like it's five broken. minutes away and then sort of walk a perimeter yeah, and within it's... that you find a uh, place where the ground dries up and uh, goes uphill a little bit into a cave that seems vacant. Okay, so then I'll walk back within range back over here. I'll wait for you. Okay, okay. Go ahead. okay so I'll you set up the screen. Outside, home. inside or outside? Uh, yeah, I can... Do you want to check out the inside first and make sure there's sure. like nothing scary inside? Okay. Um, before Hunter comes back, um, while you're all still in the swamp, waiting for him to sort oh, of scout out a, lo a location. Oh, it's still snowing on the that it's Oh, yeah. Sure it <laughs> <laughs> You've probably had to bundle up, even though it's really hot. Oh, I'm resistant to cold. Oh, that's true. Never mind. <laughs> Which is even better than snow. Cold so doesn't perfect. bother him anyway. <laughs> that's funny. That's um, so funny. Thank you. When Hunter's been gone, maybe ten minutes or so, uh, the three of you who are still back here notice an anomaly occur. Um, unlike when the Chaos Amulet ripped a hole in the fabric of reality itself and there was this swirling vortex of energy from which the Slotty came out, um, there's sort of like, sort of in, it's floating in midair, um, but it's as if someone has placed something on a surface and like this, this cloth begins to fold open in, in reality. So it's not like a sudden tear. He draws his sword yep. and activates it. Yep. I'll uh, cast Detect Magic. Uh, there is a strong, uh, whatever... I don't need to look up the school's magic. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it is a conjuration magic that comes from uh, this like fold in space that is opening up. Um, and stepping out of it are uh, three figures. Um, they're all like humanoid sized. Um, one of them is sort of a short, roten rotund gentleman. Um, he's sort of like balding on the top. He's wearing this gray button up shirt that looks like it's maybe a size too small. Um, and he has kind of a general disheveled appearance to him. Uh, and then the other two figures are, they look to be comp composed of like mostly metal. Um, they're these cube-like creatures. They're, they're shaped like literal cubes, uh, and they've got these uh, metallic wings that come off their backs. Um, and the man sort of like, as he steps through the hole, then reaches out and grabs the edge of it and pulls it, and you, it like turns into a cloth, which he then folds up and puts in his chest pocket. And he sort of like brushes off his shoulders, and then he looks around at the group of you and says, Oh, uh, hey, um, look, and then he, like, pulls out a clipboard and, uh, <laughs> begins to, like, look at what his notes on there and says, uh, my name's Mike Jensen, um, hold on, I have Such a little, an ordinary name. <laughs> he's, like, looking at his clipboard and reading off of it and he says, uh, yeah, I'm with the Bureau of Interplanar Risk Analysis, I'm here to investigate a recent slotty summoning in this vicinity. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, Slotty are a class 6 uh, restricted summoning, so um, I just need to fill out some paperwork. It's all routine, I assure you. Were you present at the uh, incident? Yes, he sort we of looks No, we weren't. Yes, we were. And he sort of cocks his head a little bit. Um, the two cube-like creatures uh, made of metal have gone on, and they're like walking around this swamp-like area. Um, and when they encounter the frog hemoth, they just sort of poke it a little bit. Um, and they seem to be investigating it while this man is talking. What did he say he was from? Uh, the inter the Bureau of Interplanar Risk Analysis. <laughs> okay. That's great. 
This is all happening while I'm gone, right? Yeah. Okay. You'll be back soon. Plain old okay. analysis. Tell me interplanar risk planar. analysis. So if I come back during this conversation, I would want to like hide behind a tree and pull my bow out. Okay. Um, you'll be back in just a minute, so I'll let sure. you know. That's fine. Uh, he like from his clipboard. Uh, it's one of those that has like a a box attached to it, and he like opens it up and he pulls out some cards and he hands them to you. <laughs> um, and they have like a shield in the middle of this uh, wheel of like several symbols. And if you want to see the the wheel itself, you can look oh, in your the player's handbook yeah. in I the plane section. It's the uh, the wheel of the planes, so it's mm. those symbols. Okay. There's just this wheel of a variety of symbols that go around this shield that has the uh, letters B I R A on it. Show it to the camera, Nick. You can sort of see it. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Um, <clears throat> and so he, he sort of is like just watching you with his head cocked, sort of waiting for this discrepancy to be resolved. What's the plane? What are you talking about? We what? didn't see anything. No, we absolutely did. I'm gonna grab him really hard and say, Do no. not polymorph me. Do not polymorph <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, look. If I were gonna polymorph you, I wouldn't be grabbing you. Uh, Miss I'm gonna message him yeah. and say, please don't out me. <laughs> um, Please. Miss Tiefling, if, if you're capable of casting the polymorph spell, I'm going to assume it's you I'm dealing with here. Well, I am the magic user here, but I assure you, we don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, well, the report came through maybe about ten minutes ago. Um, we only just arrived here a couple minutes ago. All right, well, perhaps you've seen something then. Uh, Slotty are, uh, they're like frog-like creatures. They walk on two legs. Um, horrible fangs dripping with acid. Claws as long as your hand. Well, the only frog-like things we've seen are these here, and I point to the to the corpses. Mm. He sort of like looks at Thaddeus and says, like, "This man seems to be, think otherwise. Uh, maybe I'll get some of the details from you first. That would be best." Um, Hunter, this is about the time when you'd come back. You'd see I'm, this. While same. they're so once talking, I, like once I once I see them, I would like hide behind a tree. Okay, go we'll then... check. Oh man, it's gonna be great. <laughs> that would be a big tree. Oh, that wasn't bad at all, actually. That was a, uh... Did you roll it at disadvantage? I did. Okay. It's a 14. That's not bad. So um, I'm gonna pull my bow out and ready it. Let me actually check what a Modron's passive perception is. So I'm like, the I'm at max notice. range, by the way. I'm at like 600 feet. I don't know if that means anything. Well, you're not gonna be able to see from 600 feet away because it's the jungle. So okay, well, as close as I could be then, yeah. Yeah, you're probably like 45 feet away. Okay, well, that's not very far away at all. <laughs> Uh, but you said a 14? Yes. Uh, yeah, these cube-like creatures don't seem to notice you either. Okay. Polymorph PTSD. <laughs> um, so while they're talking, I want to kind of edge away slowly, as to not draw attention, <clears throat> and when he's looking at Thaddeus and not me, I'm going to use Subtle Spell to cast Invisibility on myself. Okay. Um, I think invisibility is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, subtle spell. Yep. He doesn't notice, um, because he's turned to Thaddeus and he's ready to start questioning Thaddeus, but um, you notice that the box-like creatures, um, one of them sort of looks at you and raises an eyebrow even when you're invisible, and its eyes seem to be tracking you. I don't care about them. I care about him, and I'm just going to start slowly walking toward, like, with my... Face, still facing them so I can watch them, but slowly backing away towards where Hunter went in the hopes of bolting. Okay. Yeah, you get back into the woods, um, no one stops you. <laughs> um, but one of the box-like creatures uh, does seem to like walk away from the frog hemoth and just say like 30 feet from you. It seems to be like just walking with you. That's okay. Um, Thaddeus, the man... Uh, pulls out a sheet and like clips it onto his clipboard and then takes out a uh, quill, dips it in ink, and says, all right, let's just start with some names. Uh, can I get your name, sir? Sir Thaddeus Hammerlock. Sir Thaddeus Hammerlock. I'm going to write you down as a witness. Is that correct? That works. All right. Um, <laughs> Thaddeus like, looks up at the clouds still over his head. 
Yes, witness. Yeah, he doesn't seem to pay any attention to your cloud, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> I forgot that was still like, there. This guy has How seen weird stuff. How long does that last? An hour. An hour? An hour. Was, was it an hour? hour? Uh, can I also get your relationship with the summoner? For the record. Yeah. If yeah. This is a complicated question. We can skip this? it and come back to it. Comrades in arms. Comrades in arms. Okay, that'll it do. Is, it is an hour. Uh, and you can see that on his paper, he's just wrote C I A. Like that's like a <laughs> common thing people give him is comrades in arms, and like this abbreviation would be enough. Um, have incidents like this ever occurred uh, before in the past? And if so, with what regularity would you say? Well, this is the second time in recent. Uh... In recent time, in recent days, that it's happened. And the first was a minor devil, an imp. Ah, okay. Yeah, we don't track uh, track the summoning of imps because they're so minor. But um, if uh, this is an escalation from there, that's definitely something to note. And he scribbles that down. <laughs> uh, and how many how many slotty came through the event horizon? Would you say? Uh, there were three that I counted. Three. All right. Uh, and their colors, if you don't mind. Uh, there were two red ones. I, I remember. Yeah. Oh, that, you that is like, I think that red and blue? Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and blue. Okay. So we're dealing with some low-level stuff here. So that's good for us. Um, uh, was anyone uh, injured in the in the uh, incursion? No, actually, it was over very quickly. Excellent. That's what we like to hear, because um, Slotty tend to carry very dangerous diseases, so uh, that's a good thing to check off the list. Um, and then he sort of, like, uh, shuffles you a little ways away. He, like, looks around, and he doesn't see Harmony. Mm -hmm. for the, it's, like, the first time he's like, where'd she go? Um, but then he sort of, like, pulls you away just to be safe. And he sort of whispers. Um, these questions are a little bit personal, but I need to know, do you tend to feel safe around the summoner? Um, or do you fear for your well-being when you're near her? Um... Do I have leeway to speak here? Uh, yes, any any details will help the report. So let me be clear that the summoner, as you term it, was not anyone here. It was um, an accident of some sort of artifact. Mm, okay, artifact cause uh, that's an important uh, detail. My Tiefling friend actually banished it immediately. Good. Good. Well, at least uh, she has some ability to control risk when it occurs. Uh -huh. um, so, to answer the question... What was the question? <laughs> do you feel safe, generally, around the summoner? Looking at the cloud again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> I... Yeah. I was choosing my words carefully. He like scratches out no <laughs> on his sheet. <sighs> Around the summoner who we didn't, who I want to reiterate, didn't summon them. Stop calling me a summoner! Hermes like off kicking bushes. <laughs> I mean, you can You're see like, like on his yeah. form that like the phrase is the summoner and yeah. it's in like quotes and stuff, so. You like act like a I. Character. Stay around the summer <laughs> to keep others safe. So, I see. So you feel personally responsible for uh, mitigating risk um, presented by the summer. I have taken that duty upon myself, yes. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to change your uh, status from comrade in arms to uh, responsible guardian, if that's all right. Seems reasonable. Um, that's a brown nose <laughs> All right, I only have a few more questions. Uh, everything <laughs> seems pretty in order. Um, is there anything that I can do personally to educate you and your friends in the danger dangers of summoning Slotty? We're aware of it. We are aware of the dangers. All right. Um, this was not intentional. Uh, well, uh, just to let you know, we do uh, offer educational opportunities in regards to dangerous summons like these. So if you're ever interested, you just let me know. Can you tell me a bit more about this? disease that you mentioned? What are, uh, the, what are the symptoms? What are the signs? Uh, Ethan has to pull that up. Um, you turn to a werebore. Yes. 
while all this is happening, I'm just doing my bad reputation probe so he doesn't ask me anything. <laughs> I'm right. not gonna rat out. Uh, can you roll me an intimidation check? <laughs> Are you proficient? Are you proficient? <laughs> and intimidation. intimidation. No. Well, the natural one. Natural one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you're you're trying to look scary. You're too cute. <laughs> um, yeah, he says uh, sometimes the claws of these creatures can carry diseases. Um, they carry them in yeah, different so ways. Uh, the red something. ones will inject uh, humanoids with uh, <laughs> live young, and then those live young will grow and develop within the body and then burst out. Uh, it's a terribly nasty procedure, but that's why there are class 6 restricted summons. So. Um, the blue ones carry it in a little bit differently. It manifests in a more stereotypical disease. Um, you tend to see weakening in the victims. Um, and then when they reach their weakest point, they uh, expire and transform into a new slug. It's a terribly gruesome procedure. Um, I've seen people go through it once or twice, and it's 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 absolutely heinous. Will will magic cure this disease? Uh, yes, there are magics which can be used to cure it. All right, I'll, I'll make sure that nothing like that happens to anybody. Excellent, as I would expect from someone responsible for a summoner of this magnitude. Um, Not the summoner. <laughs> he just keeps calling it that anyways. Um, Do I see Hunter? Uh, roll a perception check. Do I have disadvantage? You do have disadvantage. <laughs> Why do you have disadvantage? Because <laughs> she's still got the She's still got the black oak. No, oh, you, you don't do? see him there. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. I haven't given him back yet. <laughs> so oh my he, he like motions for you to flip over his card, and there's a series of uh, <clears throat> arcane runes on the back. Mm -hmm. Um, and he says, if you ever feel, uh, that the summoner comes to present a clear and present danger to the balance of the multiverse, uh, you just give this, give these runes a call and, uh, we will send agents to do what we can. Absolutely. Um, then he turns to Mara and begins to ask you the same questions. <laughs> okay, so I will, uh... He says, first off, let's Panache. start with your name and your relationship to the summoner. We got a I'm at Panache. You got a Panache? Okay, so he needs to make an insight check. It's on the handout. It's on the handout. <coughs> uh, yes. Charisma. Yes. Mm -hmm. You make a persuasion check and he makes an insight, insight check. check. Yeah. So you need to make a persuasion check. Is this one? So he rolled a 15. And then I got eleven. No, no, it's, no, no, it's no. You're, you're proficient, so yeah. it's a ten oh, plus six. six. Okay, so sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, that. perfect. Uh, so what does that mean? Looking at that piece of charm. Good friend. Yeah. You're not gonna ask me anything. I don't want him to ask. The creature is charmed, charmed by you for one minute, minute, and it regards you as a friendly, friendly acquaintance. acquaintance. Okay. Which. Yeah, so he's immediately taken in by your, your charismatic nature, and he says, uh, look, I think I already got most of the information I need uh, from, as far as witnesses go, from your friend over there, and he gestures to Thaddeus, who's been snowed on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think he's a snowman at this point. If I could just get your, get your name <laughs> and relationship to the summoner, that would be sufficient. My name's Mara. Right, you but it's can like see a tropical environment, so it's like snowing and just like milking, basically. And... And she's been a very good friend to me, so I'll call her a friend. friend all right. Uh, that's about all I need from you. Uh, and then he looks over to Thaddeus and says, Were there any other witnesses to this event? Um, I'd also like to speak to the summoner. Do you know where she's gone? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> she could be anywhere right now. I climbed a tree. <laughs> okay. One of the the quadrones just sort of like points up to you. And I'm like, I'm, I'm up in the tree and I'm like throwing branches down. <laughs> Like, picking off little twigs and just throwing them down. Go away! Go away! Shoot! <laughs> he just, like, continues to point up at you. The branches are, like, clacking off his metallic head. Um, the man then shouts, Uh, if you could come down, it, this will be a real quick interview, I'm sure. You don't you don't have anything to worry about it. I look around to see if he's talking to someone else. <laughs> <clears throat> Stay quiet. Alright. Stay in the tree. 
Uh, he says, uh, he turns to the Madron that's below you and says, uh, if you wouldn't mind, could you, and he just, like, gestures up the tree, and the creature begin like, hovers up with its metallic, uh, wings. I, like, push it with my staff. <laughs> Alright, uh, roll a, uh, athletics check, a disadvantage. Disadvantage? Poor thing. It's your fault. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's not bad, though. Um, 19. Oh, wow, that's really wow. good. That's actually really good. I am proficient in athletics. I think that both of them come up and try and together pull you out of the tree. <laughs> I can, like, turn around and hold on to the trunk. No! Oh, no. Away Kick it with my hair. bare feet. So, uh, working together, <laughs> they, they got a 19, and they, like, get both of your arms, and they, like, pull you down. And no. so to the rest of you, this looks like these two cube-like, metallic cubes are just holding empty space. Um, but they can clearly see an invisible harmony, and they, they pull her down out of the tree. Harmony, um, it only looks worse if you refuse to speak for yourself. Just tell him. Uh, so yeah, when, when you're in front of Mike Jensen, he like puts his nose back in the clipboard and says, uh, Can we start with your name? Um, and for the purpose of accurate records, I'm going to need <clears throat> your real name. I know that's usually a sensitive subject. You can tell me privately if... Uh, if that's uh, not something you want your friends to hear. I'm going to cast Suggestion on him. Okay. <laughs> because. And I'm going to say, I suggest that <clears throat> you go back to where you came from. You have all the information you came for. Okay. Um, can you also check for wild magic? Yeah. Like these aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> these aren't the Mondrons you're looking for. No well, magic. Um, he says back to you. Um, you're right. I think I have all the information I need to register you as a uh, threat to the cosmos. Uh, this should be no problem. And he begins unfolding the uh, cloth from his pocket. I'm gonna please talk to him before he registers you as a threat to the cosmos. <laughs> um, and who's I spoke on your behalf. Was that? <laughs> he gets this cloth unfolded and hangs it in space. Um, and as he hangs it in space, it turns into like this dark hole. Um, the two cube-like creatures are still holding on to you, and they look like very confused by the fact that he is not questioning you. Um, Can I like wrench my arms away? Yeah, roll another uh, strength athletics check. I disadvantage. You're looking to beat an 18. Yeah, that's a 10. Nope, they've got you. <laughs> um, I'm not invisible anymore, though, because I cast a spell. Oh, that's true. Um, they, look, they look very confused that he's just done with this questioning, but um, he hangs the thing in space, and then he like sort of gestures for him. All right, come on, we're going. Uh, and they like hesitantly let go of you um, as you're just struggling there and follow him into the black hole in space, uh, which then folds over into itself, like it has been like torn down, as you saw him do on this side, uh, and then is gone. I walk away. Where are you going? In the direction that Hunter left, in. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, well, pretty quickly you, you bump into Hunter stepping out from behind the tree. <laughs> yeah, and I'd be like, what was that? Where the hell have you been? Uh, I just came back. <sighs> Did you find something? Yep. Let's go. Okay. I'm just gonna keep walking. Don't know where I'm going, but I'm walking. I'm gonna walk in front of her. <laughs> Was right. the cave secure? Huh? Was the cave secure? Um, yeah, did I get with my I don't think we know he found yeah. a cave. Yeah. Um, it looks pretty secure. He ran. Yes. Uh, he it looks up. like there might have been something that lived in there at one point, but it's been gone for a yeah. long time. Okay. Yeah, but a, he backed up to have that happen while Hunter was okay. off so looking. Okay, I'll set up to the, for the scrying. Okay. I'm going to go back and sit in the back corner of the cave and sit by myself. Just switching music from the arch of the screens. <clears throat> As we sort of set up things, we'll like, I, I think I missed something exciting again. <laughs> Could have used your sport. Okay. What happened? Cops came, man. Cops? <laughs> Coppers. He wasn't a very intimidating cop. Um, Cosmos cops. Cosmos cops. You finish setting up the ritual, 
and Harmony's kind of sulking off in the corner. Mm -hmm. Thaddeus and Hunter are doing what? I kind of want to know what, what happened. Okay, so you're getting the story from... Yeah, I'm, I'm explaining. I'm giving you my side of the story. Basically. <laughs> okay. Which is what exactly? <laughs> what exactly do you think you were doing out there? He was trying to prevent Harmony from being registered as a clear and present threat to the cosmos. While actually doing the exact opposite. Um, yeah, so the ritual completes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I oh need to boy. make a save for Gloriana, but it's uh, she has some minuses because you have her blood from mm -hmm. the letter. Mm -hmm. um, let's look at the scrap. What's the DC? It's 15. 17, I think. No, the DC would be on your crystal ball. Do you have one of these with crystal ball? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you do. I thought you did. Yeah, you definitely did. Oh! It might be. Nope, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's also that's something all that you have. That's all I have from Scrying, I thought, but... No. Well, the Scrying card has the, has the spell, but okay. then you have a card that has the items. So she has a minus it's, 7 to this save, it's here. and it's a DC it 17, I believe. It's a DC 17, yeah. And she has a minus 5 to the save. And it's, what kind of save? Wisdom? That would be on this card. Yeah, Wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, so she rolled a 15, plus 3, minus 5, so she fails. Yep. Um, <coughs> your vision zooms into the crystal ball as it's done before, and then is pulled upward immediately over the island, um, and immediately it's then pulled again in a rush of trees uh, in an indeterminate direction. And then as the um, vision solidifies, uh, you find yourself... Uh, the sensor positioned in the midst of a crowd of many creatures. Um, there seem to be about 12, 15 goblins or so, uh, all with their curling, uh, wicked-looking horns um, that you've seen on the goblins that inhabit this island. Um, and they're also all wearing these masks that look... they're, they're carved out of wood, um, and painted with abyssal symbols, um, and the mask generally is carved to resemble the face of like a bull or, a, or a, some kind of cow. Um, and they're wearing these masks and they're marching through the jungle. Um, among them, you see, uh, tied with ropes, is Gloriana Hartwood, and she's being led along with a couple other creatures which are also tied with. Uh, with ropes, there are um, four uh, humanoid dog creatures with this ratty, matted uh, gray fur with black spots on it, uh, and they have these rounded ears. Most, a lot of them have like chips and things in their ear or scars across their bodies. Um, and these four dog-like creatures in Gloriana are all being led through the jungle by this group of several goblins, um, and you can see that there's also um, two of the same large orange uh, for monkeys that you saw, the large demon monkeys um, that you saw in the goblin camp. Um, and overhead you glimpse a, just between the trees, a um, view of some sort of large flying creature as well. Uh, and they're moving through the uh, <coughs> jungle with relative quietness. Um, but at one point, uh, the goblin who seems to be leading, um, most of the goblins are wearing just like this ragtag hide armor, um, but this goblin seems to be wearing like a ceremonial robe, um, which has abyssal symbols uh, sewn into it. Um, and he has very obviously like the biggest horns of the entire group. Um, he leads them and directs them uh, basically out of the forest, and you see that you are on, actually, the slopes at the very base of the mountain. Um, and he begins to direct the goblins in Goblin, which you don't understand, but you can sort of infer from watching them. The mountain in the middle? Uh, yeah. Okay. Up the slope of this uh, mountain, um, leading Gloriana and uh, these Knoll prisoners as he goes. And that's about when the ten minutes of the scrying spell ends. Okay, so guys, it looks like they're headed to the mountain, um, and I think I saw the leader of the goblins 
with her. One other thing about the... Make a perception check. For while you were in your... Scry. 14. 14. Uh, you noticed that the goblin leader uh, on their belt had a um, weapon that was very uncharacteristic for the rest of the goblins. Most of their scimitars and things like that were pretty well worn down and used and chipped and broken and things like that. Uh, but this goblin leader on its belt had a uh, dagger sheath made of like a light blue metal uh, that shone with magical um, uh, magic, some sort of a magical light to it. Or like a magical cleanliness that couldn't be achieved normally. Okay. So I'll re relay that information to the group. Okay. Isn't that a volcano? And she was tied up. Do we know of, of any, like, sacrifice, like, tribes that do, like, sacrifices or anything like that? Or... Uh, I don't know if we would know that either. Yeah, well, maybe not here, but, like, goblins I don't like, know what you know or... about... Uh, you could roll a nature check to learn about goblins in specific. Okay. How about 15? 15. 15. Um, you know that goblins can be cruel, um, and uh, these goblins in particular seem to have bestial qualities to them with the horns and things. Um, you don't know for sure if they would make a human sacrifice or anything like that. Okay. Um, but you do know there are people out there in the world who do that, uh, because often the mages of the Elder Haven Reaches would use blood magic, which mm. required human sacrifices. So where where were we on the map? Uh, you the are north west the corner -ish, the island right. map. Um, you had followed the the river uh, along its curve mm -hmm. underneath that shell part of the island. Yeah. Um, and so you're ah! just. Come on, dogs. Um, you're on the south side of the river, uh, between in the jungle between the mountain and the river. Okay. So we're not too far away from it. Nope. I'm wondering, should we make a break for it and see if we can intercept them, or should we just... Harmony, can you teleport there? Nope. I'm not talking to you. I'm actually not talking. That's not Harmony saying that. That's just... She's not saying anything. Right. She's ignoring me. Come on. <laughs> Does somebody else want to ask Harmony if she can help us achieve our mission critical objective? I wasn't actually listening. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're pretty close to the mountain. But we're, do, we're trying to decide what to do. Should we intercept them? Were they at the base of the mountain when the vision ended? Uh, yeah, the vision ended with them sort of uh, getting onto the slopes of the mountain okay. and heading up them. Uh, in the vision, you saw that there was like a carved path in the side of the mountain that went upward, upward yeah. in switchbacks. Yeah. yeah uh, I mean, we could either teleport or we could just quickly go over and try and intercept them. Whatever you guys think is better or prudent, I guess. Whatever's quiet. Well. Quiet as would be teleport, probably. I don't think it's a good idea to use my magic in front of Thaddeus. Apparently, I'm a danger to society. <laughs> you weren't there, and you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me argue in your favor. They knew what had happened, and I tried to convince them it wasn't there. But Mara didn't help, and Hunter wasn't there, and so it was up to me to convince them. And you know I'm not very good. How funny would it be if Moloch came back right now? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard enough to know that whatever you said only made matters worse. I told you not to say anything to them, but you just had to tell them the truth. If the truth is going to get you in trouble, then maybe you should do what you do. As if I did that on purpose. You know none of this that's happened is my fault. Well, you're the enemy. Do you want to see what would happen if I don't wear it? No. Just... I get up and leave the cave. Stomping my little feet. Where are you going? <laughs> Just yeah. straight. Okay. Straight out. Your size. I'm like, okay, I'll get off all over. <laughs> Just like, I'm gonna walk after her. Alright, I don't think we have any time to lose. I'm 
I'm going to head after them. Okay. After this group? No, after the couples. Okay, so you're just going to out the cave and go the opposite direction from Harmony and Hunter then? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll gather my stuff and go with that. Uh, Harmony, it's not long. A uh, few minutes, uh, really, um, of your storming out into the jungle um, before you find uh, something. Let me figure out what it is. Um, you find sort of what looks like a... It might have been a fire pit at one point. Um, and there is, uh, over the fire pit, there's like a, a makeshift spit made out of um, twigs and things, or like branches and things like that. Um, and spitted over that, sort of like with a, a pole stuck from like one end to, through the mouth, um, is a burned, charred uh, corpse of a, like a humanoid dog creature. Wow. Um, and it's just thoroughly overcooked. Um, and mm -hmm. like scattered around this camp area, uh, you can see several, like, goblin tracks, um, small footprints, um, as well as several, uh, footprints of some kind of creature that just sort of come and go through this camp. And Hunter, I think that's probably about when you catch up upon me. Do I see, like, any sign of any of them nearby? Or is it just... Uh, tracks? roll a survival check. Uh, ten. Um, looking around, uh, you don't know necessarily how to tell how fresh a track is. That's, uh, that's not more... true because I'm proficient in survival. Okay, well, you you can't. You're having trouble telling with these because it, the volcano erupts so much and like water flows everywhere and it sort of messes with the tracks. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're not entirely sure, but uh, they're washed out a little bit, so they're probably not super recent. I could probably tell with Natural Explorer, I guess. Uh, you certainly could. But I'm not interested in that, so... Is the fire still going, or is it out? No, it looks like it's out. Out. Just gonna sit down next to where the fire was. Yeah, you see Harmony next yeah, to Yeah, and I'll just, like, like, I'll just, like, approach and be like... Body. Like, You're poking at the campfire with a finger. <laughs> With a mage hand, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Not even my own finger. You ready to go? <laughs> go where? We need to. We need to go help them. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Just rush headlong in there? You know, I'm pretty much burnt out. Especially if I use my magic to teleport us there, I'm not gonna be able to do anything when we get there. You have nothing left. I don't have much left. Well, I think the job of having you get us there um, before anything bad would happen would be enough. Yeah, but what are we going to do when we get there? What am I supposed to do? We've always made it work before. The plan is to get there, and then we'll take matters in our own hands. Worst case is you get glory on a dimension door away. There's not. I can't. You can't do that either? No, I won't be able to do that. Okay. I don't know if my teleportation magic will even get us where we want to go. There's a chance that we could end up somewhere else. Because it's a place I've never been. I mean, I can see it from here, but that doesn't really mean much. Well, in any case, we should at least try Why and get there. Why can't we just travel there? We're not that far. Well, let's go then. Hunter, you know that with your ability to uh, lead people through forested areas quickly, mm -hmm. you could probably overtake them before they get too yeah. far. Yeah, if we go now, if we go now, like you follow me, we can get there before, you know, who knows what would happen. We can get there in time to do something. I have a question, Hunter. Sure. You heard what that guy wanted, right? No, I only got the story from Thaddeus. Well, well, you, were, you were close enough, you would have oh, did I heard the gist. Yeah. So I, heard, I got the gist of Maybe it. not the details, but... Did he tell you that I asked him not to say anything? Did you tell me that he probably did? 
Yes. What would you have done? That's Mother Midnight's amulet. Not yours. That caused the problem. You didn't ask for it. You saw what happens when I'm not attuned to it. it wasn't because you... You didn't do you that You saw purpose. what happened to... to... Thaddeus. He had that Her... snow cloud over his head. What do you think that came from? <laughs> I remember lots of floats having interesting conversations, too. There are happy accidents that happen. Well, I'm just saying, like... I remember a lot of webs in my face as well. <laughs> Imagine that happening all the time. Doesn't it? It's not a bad No, thing. even more than it does now. Look, I know that I don't have the best control of my magic, but I'm dealing with it. And if I took this amulet off, it would be worse. And I don't know, it was following me around in that hut. I feel like if I took it off now and I tried to leave it behind, it would follow me. Well, I mean... Yeah, we got it from Mother Midnight, but that doesn't mean that she created it. It doesn't mean that it's hers. And you've seen all the good that I can do with it. Do you remember when we were escaping Marble Cleft Landing and I used my magic to get the boat out? That was really cool. That was from the amulet. Yeah. I couldn't do that without the amulet. I, I don't doubt that it's been more helpful in our adventure. I don't know what you're getting at, though. I mean, I would have... Do you think I'm dangerous? I think all of us could be conceived as dangerous. Would you would you rather report me to the authorities than lie for me? Before, well, personally, I didn't even know those authorities existed. Neither did I, but like, <laughs> so. the first thing is, when you are in trouble, the first thing you do is lie about it until you figure <laughs> out what the punishment's gonna be. Uh, um, I'm sorry, but that was just one of my favorite Harmony quotes ever. I mean, of course <laughs> you're, you're not gonna fess up to it until you understand what the magnitude is. I'm gonna, like, just kneel it's down. It's all about self-protection. I'm just gonna kneel down and give Harmony a hug and just be like, they're there. It's, it's okay. The skin is cold. It's cold, but the thought is there. I'll put my arms around his head. I'll say, in a jungle, you should be warm. <laughs> it's kind of slimy from the, from the swamp. Yeah, it's not the most. It's not the. It's not the most kind comfortable of thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I really need to know that you're on my side, Hunter. Always. Even if Thaddeus isn't. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think he's not either. Obviously, we have conflicting personalities. If he you disagrees noticed. with me about a lot of things, and I don't want to change who I am just to make him happy. Well, I don't think anyone's asking you to do that either, but... I just want to know that you're on my side, that's all. Yes, I will always be on your side. Can I ride on your shoulders? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, and then so he'll ride on my shoulders and we'll... Hunter and Harmony time. reach support rank A. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> so Mara and Thaddeus you're heading off towards the volcano um, just make a, a quick survival check one of you at advantage okay. whoever has the better bonus um, I'm plus two mine's one um, you're, you're not fresh yeah, it's not I'll go ahead and make it then uh, 14 14 Okay, so you, you get yourself going what you think is the correct direction uh, southward towards the volcano. Um, and uh, about the time that you're coming to, like, the getting close to where you think the edge of the forest must be, because you can start to see the volcano. Yeah, it's, like, it's not hard to bring yourself against the volcano. Yeah, I mean, when you can get a glimpse of it, that's the thing. But um, about that time is when Hunter and Harmony come catching up with you, uh, having much less trouble dealing with the foliage than you and Mark. Okay. okay, and then so we'll catch up, and then uh, I guess I'll just say, okay, follow me, let's go. And then with, with Harmony at the saddle, <laughs> whatever she's doing. On the shoulder. On the shoulders. <laughs> we go forth. Okay. Um, you make your way up this mountain. It's winding switchbacks back and forth. Um, Do we have any idea of how far behind we are? Um, the terrain is, uh, rocky and it makes it difficult to, like, look up the mountain with your scope. Um, but occasionally you get a 
a glimpse when you look up through your scope and kind of check briefly for people. You occasionally get a glimpse of them um, not too far ahead of you, maybe like uh, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I feel like the fact that they have captives and they're, they're having to like force march them is really yeah. Yeah. Um, but you get a better glimpse at the flying creatures that they have circling them that Mara mentioned. Mm -hmm. and. Um, they are the sort of grotesque, twisted, uh, half humanoid, half vulture creatures with like black feathery wings. Um, and they're just sort of like circling the group of goblins as they make their march up the mountain and out of sight. Wow. All right. Um, and there are two of them? There are five of them. Oh. Okay. So, what's the plan here? We're just going to go in and. Is, if we get Gloriana safe, are we just going to try and leave, or do we want to... Do we believe that's the Goblin Chieftain, that we are also hunting for what Robert? Do you, what do you think Mara did that look like their chief? Yeah, he looked way different than all the others. So we could kill two birds with one stone here. Okay. We can give a shot. Okay. Uh, as you make your way sort of with the awkward silence of Harmony, uh, her anger is basically radiating, <laughs> um, and sort of creates this awkward silence. You make your way up the mountain, and when you get what you think is pretty close to the summit, um, you start to hear beating drums. Um, and as you start to begin to come within sight of the final slope up to what must be the lip of this active volcano, um, you can see uh, that there are uh, several, the goblins uh, seem to be grouped around the lip of the volcano. And at the lip of the volcano, there are these uh, totem poles uh, carved from rock, which jut out above the lip. Um, and uh, they're carved with various bestial uh, expressions. Uh, there's like a snarling wolf and there's a, um, puffing bull, and there's all these creatures just going up these totem poles. Um, and the Knoll captives and Gloriana have been tied to these poles, and some goblins are beating these ritualistic drums, uh, while the rest are chanting in uh, what you can only assume is abyssal, it's this horrible guttural language. Um, and then you watch from your position, sort of a little ways down the mountain, as uh, two goblins run up with scimitars and stab into the hearts of two of the gnolls, um, and blood begins to pour out of them and down into channels and then down over the lip into the volcano in just like this fountain. And I need everyone to roll initiative. All right. Are we hidden or do they see us? Um, you think that at the very least the uh, vulture like creatures have seen you as they're starting to circle and uh, drift closer in your direction. And is my initiative at disadvantage? I can't remember. It is. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the second one tonight. <laughs> at least it was on initiative. That's the best one I've ever done. Oh, no. Oh, I'm okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, mine's the same. The same? Yeah, I didn't uh, change it. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant the same as Mara's. I, I was like, it's right. definitely not the same as Mara's. Oh, oh you've got oh. it all ready to go. Look at that. Oh, look at this guy. He came prepared. So... So this green one here, in the middle, oh, should probably... Uh, <laughs> He's put his box over there. <laughs> Well, let me just reveal the map here so that um, some viewers can see. Are there any structures, anything? Uh, no, except for these totem poles up here, which the Knolls and Gloriana in the middle. Are they sturdy and big? They look sturdy, yep. Okay. Is it more like this? <laughs> are, these dotted, are these dotted lines like... They're just, I was trying to show like the downward incline. Oh, okay. Um, so they're just sort of for effect. Is it difficult terrain? Uh, it is difficult terrain going upward. Not downward? Not downward. 
downward you actually get five feet extra of movement. Mm -hmm. um, moving sideways is fine. Can I uh, can I retcon something, or say while we were on our way up here, I was creating spell slots out of sorcery points. Sure. While I was riding on hunter's shoulders, <laughs> and I could concentrate on it. I'm gonna make one fourth level slot, which is six points. That's it. That's about all I can do. You're really empty, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. I used a lot of the cells against the. Okay, so the, uh, the, wow, those clear guys barely show up. I might have chosen a poor <laughs> thing. Uh, so the buttons are the vultures. You want dice? I can get you some colorful I've dice I've numbered stuff. these ones to make it easier for me to track them. It's okay. That's the thing. So Sorry. we'll just use that. Um, the buttons are the big uh, vulture-like creatures, which are circling maybe 30, 40 feet above. Um, the blue stones are the knoll captives. The green one in the middle, um is glory on a heartwood uh and the orange stone is uh what you would presume to be the knoll leader or the goblin leader or yeah the goblin leader because uh, he has that uh robe with the abyssal um runes sewn into it um and you can see that he is waving this uh dagger made of electric blue steel up in the air and chanting and it is crackling with electricity as he's waving it and chanting um, and then the last thing you hear before initiative officially begins is, uh, Glory on a Heartwood shouting, um, Oh dear Lady Luck, if ever there was a time for an intervention, this is it! <laughs> <laughs> As she's just tied to the stake and hasn't quite so seen funny. that her salvation is upon her. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, so these are all the flying creatures, these buttons? Yes. Okay. And then, where are the monkeys? Oh, right, monkeys. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're Maybe friendly. Like this is why challenge. I'm going to use my seventh level slot, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, as you get closer, you can see that the monkeys also have these really is big drones. Gloriana... Oh, I just wanted to see them. I didn't want you to put them on the map. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Which one's Gloriana again? Uh, the green. middle totem pole, the green. Oh, they're right back. Yeah. Also, okay. Ethan, you could use a bunch of D10s if you wanted to keep the numbers. That's OK. OK. That's OK. We're All right, ready. so. Uh, let me put initiative in order. I pre-rolled all of mine because mm. I kind of have to set up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still on your shoulders. Yes, you can be. Yeah. So I'll be like... Do I move slower with her? Or does it, is she light enough I'm that it doesn't matter? I'm four feet, but I'm still a medium creature, technically. She would uh, reduce your speed. Oh, if I half. reduce your speed, then forget it. Okay. I'll jump down. I'll, I'll, I'll like quickly mention to Mara, I'm like, Mara, you could, if push comes to shove, you could probably... Those totems look pretty sturdy. Probably like lasso yourself over an Indiana Jones style, swoop in and swoop take. In. Again. I, when we get a little closer, Mara yeah, is first that. up. I'm first Can step. you take me with you? Huh? If you lasso yourself in, Indiana Jones style, to toward Gloriana. Sure. I don't know if you can take okay, like scoop so up the like two. like Luke Skywalker style. <laughs> oh yeah. Scoop up me no, for Lark. Yeah. <laughs> your hands are free. Can, uh, I can, can grab on. on. Yeah. But, um, so, the two, which two got of the gnolls uh, were stabbed? You can see there's two goblins on the inside and outside. Oh, okay. Um, All right. They have stabbed those two very outer edge gnolls. And the okay. gnolls are now bleeding off a channel, a, sm a smooth stream of blood. But they're not dead the yet. Of the volcano. How, uh, how high are the flyers? Uh, about 30 feet up. 40 feet up. Okay. Okay, so we should probably kill off a couple of these before we head in, huh? I'll shout, if some, if one of you can get me to Gloriana, I have a way to get her out. How okay. much shoulders I'll get there? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my turn. Mara, what you doing? It's not okay. my turn. So... Free action, pass harmony. <laughs> I'm too far away to, to I'm the new hot lasso. Potato in there right now, right? Mm -hmm. So How I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak attack a short bow on one of the flying creatures. I don't think you can. Yeah, to get your sneak attack, you have to actually be next to them or have advantage in some way. Uh, or you need to have an ally next to them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Threaten square. Um, okay. 
If you could make it, you can well, hold your high. attack too. If yeah, you, you want could, you sneak attack, okay. you could hold your attack until somebody's close to one. If you think okay. that Hunter's gonna run down and stab him, or you're just gonna ooh, shoot ooh, him. I know what to do. I know what to do. We got this. We got this. Yeah, you can hold your attack. I, okay. I can help you with this. Do you want to move at all? Okay. So, well, I guess we need to. Is there anything to hide behind? Um, I would say there's yeah rock outcroppings you could sort of duck behind if you wanted to. I got this, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. Okay, so yeah, I guess I gotta get, move closer so that I can get within range. Okay. Uh, how much closer are you going? I guess you can go uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, because it's difficult terrain uphill. You have 30. And then you could dash again or you could hide with your bonus. Okay, let's dash again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is that right? Yep. And then, and then I can. I kind of want to tell you to like hold your attack. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll wait. So then you sort of duck down a little bit and get can the you, bow out. Yeah, I'll so tell you. I'll tell you when to shoot. So you okay. have to. You have to say what your held action is going to be. Yeah, it's so going to be the short bow. What? You, well, what are you going to attack, and what is the trigger? Uh, one of the flying guys. Basically, can, can it be what I attack? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, the, trigger, the trigger is when Hunter attacks. And can I and like, call to her and say now that. or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, it is Hunter's turn right. then immediately after. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, so I'm going to place my bow. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. You cast a suggestion too? That's great. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to shoot one of the flyers. <laughs> place my bow. Shoot one of the flyers. I roll nat 20. Okay. I'm going to use distracting <laughs> shot on it, which gives her advantage. Oh, perfect. Oh, sweet. So she'll get sneak attack anyway. So do you have to roll attack. anything, or does that just happen? So, uh, in the language of that, it's harmonizing the bow. I just know. Just shot and sneak attack. Yeah. No. It's perfect. So it's perfect. You guys make a good team. Uh, it cool. says, when you hit a creature with a weapon oh, attack, yeah, you expend a superiority to get one, one of your allies an opening. Oh, yeah. You add the damage oh, yeah. to, or superior damage first. to the die, and then they you get advantage on their next attack. Okay, perfect. You had an advantage, so I do too. Got him. Yes. And you take the highest one. And I'm going to roll a... Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, you can, you can do it. Oh, natural 20! Oh, so, so this thing is getting hit by two natural 20s? Yeah, it is. What? Yeah. You should might Yeah. How many do you wait, have? Wait, wait, hold on. Why 16? Well, it's 86 for sneak attack. 76. All, all dice? No. She hasn't technically it's leveled up yet. Seven, so. oh, oh, so it's 66 uh, plus uh, 1, so it's 14. 14, 14 okay. is still it's a lot. It's still a lot. Oh my gosh, this is great. So that's 11. 11? This is the best. 12, you can just 13. stop the session right here. No, I'm just kidding. Game over. <laughs> Assume we um, win. <laughs> right? You need Teleport 14. away. Yep. Roll it all, baby. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. If you could roll Hunters as well. We're coming out strong. This is great. It doesn't get much better than On this. On one um, little, I know. If I roll a crit, does the superiority die also double or not? Yeah, Explosion or something. yeah I'll, I'll die. Oh, oh, they do? Okay. 10, 20. Okay. Okay. Damn! 56. Okay. You have to add your modifier. And what's, what's, oh, yeah. what's the plus 20. to it? So 60. 60 All points. Piercing. Okay. Piercing from Mara. <laughs> That's our best one yet. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good yeah. tag team. Yeah. So I'm going to take these back. Uh, 47. We're going to have to get you more D6s. Piercing. <laughs> okay. You're going to need as many D6s as I have D8s. <laughs> 47, you said? Yeah. I need a calculator already. Where's my phone? <laughs> there it is. We've had the table calculator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that felt so good. Uh, I'm just going to pass the rest of my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was, which one did you have one of a preference? I think maybe just this one, the closest one. Okay. Yeah. Let me shot this you one. Try to get a path clear. Yeah. Clear the path. Okay. Um, not to rain on your parades, uh, but it does seem like both of those attacks did nowhere near as much damage as they should have done. Like, Mara, you caught it right in the, like, the heart area, but the the arrow doesn't seem to pierce far as, as it should. And, uh, same with, um, Zack, the, or okay. with Hunter. The arrow caught it in the wing, but it still doesn't seem too staggered by it. Is it pretty hurt, though? We're using a magical bow, right? Uh, I had, I was gonna use the bow He's string, got a but... string, and so whenever he uses the string, so, it's magic, but he, but he didn't use it. I did, well, I rolled for it, but I, no, I didn't say it. Oh. I rolled slow. I if don't you know rolled that, for it, then I did. that counts yeah, as Yeah, I rolled magic, four, and, I and then I just it. was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what kind of save does it make? Uh, it's a deck save. It's slow. 
I need to get you some magic arrows or something. Um, DC 15. It fails. Okay, so now it oh, is. Oh, it has magic resistance, doesn't it? It does. Uh, so it passes. Okay, never mind then. But it is magic damage. Though. Yep. Okay. Um. So yeah, that one uh, looks like it like its wing from your arrow gets shredded, and uh, okay. Mara, your arrow pierced into its heart and lets out this horrible <laughs> screech across the entire battlefield. Okay, and it's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, very but it's still angry. alive. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to make another attack. Okay. Uh, so to clarify, you can't use your bowstring. I will not use my bowstring for the next one. But thank you for clarifying, because I did forget that forever until now. You gotta have my ways to limit hunting. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, it was written too, and I just completely forgot about it. So, okay, so I got a 20, 30 to hit. Does it? Okay, um, I'll do the same one, and then I'll make it a tripping attack. Strength save and throw? Strength save, and it's a DC... Uh, it fails. Okay, so he falls. So you can take, what, I don't know how many how high they were, you said, but... 40 feet. 40 feet, whatever that is. Yep. And then... 28 piercing damage. Um, okay. Uh, you're not gonna like this, he's got 1 HP left. As he falls out of the sky, hits the ground hard, and is like, laying prone on the ground just now. just him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, someone I don't know what to deal how to deal with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how to deal with that. Uh, I don't really don't want to shoot him. I'd rather shoot another one. So I'm gonna shoot one more at one of the other flying guys. Okay. Which one? Um, that's another thirty. I'll do this one. Okay. Actually, well, we're clearing a path. Yeah, we'll just do maybe this one. Okay. Down there. Yeah. What's the brown guy? This one. Uh, he's just another goblin. I oh, ran okay, out of gotcha. uh, clear stones. And that'll be so. another tripping attack. This. Okay, so he falls too. And he takes. That's much better. Wow. 35 so piercing way. damage. Oh my gosh, my. <laughs> he's working hard back there. And that. Smoke's coming out. I know. So much mass. And then I will move up. Uh, yeah, I'll move up. Um, I can move at 30 or 30. One, two, three, four. And it's five, difficult six. terrain, but you ignore that. I ignore you? that. I don't even care. <clears throat> so draw, draw more lines. You pick up your bow again, so it's unplaced at the moment. Yes. You'll have to place it again. Um, but you move forward. Then it is the goblin's turn. <clears throat> um, the. Um, the goblins are going to converge on the two that they can get here. No, we were supposed to be sneaky and hiding. <laughs> They're not supposed to know where there's anything to hide. Huh? You dashed. What HP? <laughs> I like that you even wrote your initiative on your notes. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Casey loses it. I don't know. So only two can make attacks against both of you. Uh, but the rest are going to use their movement to dash. Oh my god. Stupid little goblins. If only I had a one on initiative. Ten feet. Uh, so they get there. Um, oh, these two. <laughs> um, so the two goblins that are up conducting the ritual to the beat of the drums from the giant apes and the goblins who have now abandoned their drums uh, stab into the two knolls, and blood channels begin to flow from them down into the river or into the volcano. Um, <clears throat> meanwhile. Uh, several of the goblins charge forward, uh, two of them getting attacks against Hunter with reckless abandon. Yeah. Uh, they're going to try and gore you with their antlers. They can try. Uh, so that's 
and 18. Miss. Nope. And then uh, the second one tries to bore you with an even lower one. And then they will try to scimitar you. Uh, still low. And let's see, 19? That hits. Okay. So one scimitar hit on 100. Okay. I'm down. Uh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take average damage for this entire fight. Uh, so you take five uh, slashing damage half down to two because you have more forged armor. Like critical. Because you didn't you didn't okay. realize it. Got it. Did Mara have something? Oh, she was just wondering if she could have used some hit dice during the short rest. She, could she didn't. She, she could missed have. the yep. short rest. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to roll that now before he starts telling you how much? That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Before I roll some attacks against you. Yeah. Yeah, these are D8. So you, you, have, you can you use up to 13, or up to 12, but you don't have to use all of them. And they're I think you can D8s. just keep rolling them, right? You can take a number and then D8. do it. D8s, yes. Yeah. So, so yeah, you can okay. do the one at, what at, one at a time, and you don't have a constitution bonus, so it's just one you roll. Two, so you can do Is it one. D8 or D10? Oh, that's a 10. D8. Oh, yeah. sorry. They all Try that again. The same. They all look the same. Three. So three. Okay, Eleven. that's better. I'll just start. I'll Eleven stop there. Okay, so mark off two used hit dice, and now you have add eleven hit points to your max or to your remaining. Okay, and when you're done, uh, the two goblins that got up next to you, one of them managed to gore you with its horns, <clears throat> Mara gets the horn um, and then the other one managed to using that opportunity get you with a scimitar. So you took twenty-seven points of damage. Oh my god! Uncanny dodge. Uh, you can uncanny dodge the. Stronger one, which the is the one. gore, uh, which let me calculate that again. Right. Right. Uh, so that's 22, which goes down to 11. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the scimitar was 5. So, so 16, 16 total. Points. Okay, that's better. Use that uncanny dodge. Yeah, don't forget yeah. about that uncanny dodge. Um, and then the <clears throat> leader of this whole ritual up at the top of the volcano um, has seen that uh, people are encroaching. What did you get? What? Uh, and he casts a spell. A counter spell. I thought maybe. Oh wait, am I too far? It got me real good. It's only a range of 60 feet. What's he doing? 50, 55, 60. Yeah, I'm too far to counter spell. <clears throat> Never mind! He's casting it's gonna a spell. Happen. Um, Fuck! A ring of fire encircles their entire group. It just is an opaque wall of fire like 20 feet high um, and obscures vision entirely to them. Cool. It's okay. It's obscures okay. it how? You don't need to see for dimension. I, no, I, I just need to... <clears throat> I wasn't planning to use it twice, but I can. Trust me, I'll get you there. Okay. Choice of words. Huh? Yeah, I don't have a choice. He says trust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll show you what trust looks like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then it is Thaddeus' turn. All right. All right. Let's take up harmony. Mm -hmm. I allow it. Um, <laughs> cast haste. Cast test. Okay. Uh, first move is going to be a jump. Okay. Of a lot of feet. <laughs> like, How far can you jump? I, I have the roots of starting to spring, so I can jump probably up to... I should have cast a jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you didn't take mountain. jump, though, did you? No, it's okay. It's I am able to jump... I'm looking it up. 50 feet. Straight up into the air? The first one is is going to be a long jump. Oh, okay. To get us as close as possible, and then we're going to do the high jump. Okay. <laughs> to go over the wall. Okay, so long jump, you can jump a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on the move immediately before the jump. Right, and these, my boots triple that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and then you can jump your strength score, which is... 18. No, so triple that. 54. 54. Uh, this is all in my notes, it's all in character. Because I hated having to do these calculations. Okay. Uh, and then you can jump 54 feet, so we'll go 55. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, oops, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. All right. Now we're going to try um, As jump. you land there, I need you to make a dexterity save at disadvantage because you have harmony on you. Oh, but I, but or no, it's an acrobatics check. Um, I'm unencumbered. 
by or sure. So that's like just that. the normal one. Okay, and I have advantage on when this is this a saving throw? Uh, so it's because you landed on. Check. Actually, do your boots affect uh, difficult terrain at all? Um, they don't, but they they do say that you are not slowed okay. by. So okay. You're not encumbered, so I won't give you a disadvantage. Um, it's because when you land on difficult terrain, you must succeed a DC uh, blank dexterity acrobatics check to That's land a, on your feet. Okay, it's an acrobatics check. Yep. So this is not a disadvantage. But haste won't give me. See, this is a, it was uh, a very complicated turn. Uh, yeah, it's been a very complicated I like, round. I like our turn. I'm trying to remember what haste does. We combo that guy. I know it gives you advantage on something, right. but I don't remember if it's. Dexterity checks. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I have a lot to do in my turn. <laughs> Too bad that wasn't well, magic yeah. damage. We would have killed him right there, probably. Peace. Advantage on dexterity. I know you would have. Okay, so it's not going to affect the check. That was so good. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. <laughs> Five. Okay. Oh, uh, so you and Harmony both fall prone where you are. Oh. <laughs> Which I'm going to say probably. Well, you can get back up and it's half your movement to get yeah. up. Half your movement to get that up. That was with advantage. Yeah. No, I didn't have advantage. Yo, you didn't have disadvantage. I didn't have disadvantage. So you're on your second move. But I thought, yeah, I thought not having disadvantage because you weren't encumbered, so you would get advantage from haste. No, 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 no. no. Never mind. Okay, haste forget it. Wait, we, for, we got, never mind. Okay, haste I, I is for saving throws. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and now I want to jump over the wall. Okay. Hi, Joe. Uh, so what is your high jump now? <laughs> high jump is 21 feet vertically. Okay. Um, yeah, you can barely get over it with that, I think. Um, putting both you and Harmony within 10 feet of the wall. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be the end of your movement there. Yeah. Um, let me look up the spell real quick. Okay, I Actually, <laughs> the inside of the wall is fine. Yeah. It's the outside of the wall. Exactly. So, no, but you would have to go by the outside of the wall. And I couldn't counter spell it because I was too far away. So since you had to go by the outside of the wall, let's see, it still okay. comes into effect. Okay. Uh, you both need to make a dexterity saving throw. Hey, that's a bad. I assume mine's a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I get your bonus. You do get my bonus. Okay. 22. Wow. That's a success. Four from you. So that's a 22. Oh, okay. dang. Wow. Um, I rolled really well. Also, this is going to be halved for me because I'm resistant to fire damage. Mm -hmm. Immune. Uh, Are you immune to fire damage? No. no. I, was like, I was being immune here. So I'll, I'll take Because you're just that. a little ball of fire yourself. Okay. okay. Half as okay. much damage on a successful save. So. Uh, what was your save? We had the same. Oh, you had the same, so you both success. Yeah. Um, the damage for a success is 12, so then half so down six. to 6 for Harmony. Okay. And then you land within this ring of fire, and you can see, like, a look of bewilderment on this goblin <laughs> uh, cultist with the huge horns as you've landed next to him within the ring of fire. Cool. That works. I've a lot of enemies to deal with outside. My bonus action, I point my sword at him. And say, uh, I name you Asanahan's enemy. <laughs> okay. That is your turn. It's Please. my entire turn. That was a, that was a good turn. <laughs> that was pretty um, good. <laughs> one last thing. I need a concentration check. Uh, I, I just made it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Oh, for haste. Yeah, I, I knew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these monkey creatures... Um, are going to throw their large drums down the mountain. Probably hit a lot of goblins. Uh, they might. Uh, they're going to throw them at Hunter and Mara. Throwing what? Their large drums basically <laughs> down the mountain. Uh, uh, so missing Hunter entirely, going wide down the mountain the other way. And then Mara, of course, I will hit. Um, with a 24. Yes. Why can't I roll that against Hunter? Uh, well, okay, so, right, average damage. Uh, 11 bludgeoning damage as the drum comes careening so into thing. you. Or is it once per... It uses her reaction to... Oh, okay, so you don't have your reaction. Uh, and then they're going to... I can do anything for you. 11? Uh, yes. Okay. Oops, I'm moving too fast. Thirty-two. 
40. To there, and then the extra feet. To there, as they move down the mountain. That was wanting to be stealthy, so that's cut in half. Then, I should just put them on the same initiative, but we have the vulture creatures. Don't forget about them. They're just for show. How did they? Yeah. Well, how many have even gone yet? Yeah. I rolled a one on yeah. my initiative. Thank you, disadvantage. Yeah. Well, didn't that one fall? This one died. Well, no, it's at one HP. So yeah, it gets back. the then. brown one, didn't she? Didn't it fall? Huh? Did you knock more than one? Yeah, I thought, I thought he, he fell. Didn't only one fall? Uh, no, I, he, I tripped two of them. Okay, then I did yeah, this one trip, trip, and then that one, yeah. So he can't get that far. He can, like, get back up and fly to about there. Okay. Um... Mara, uh, and Hunter, and Harmony, and Thaddeus. Mm -hmm. um, as these things get close to you... How close are they? Uh, the one next to Mara and the one in front of Thaddeus uh, emit horrifying screeches, which require you to make constitution saving throws. Is this a frightening thing? Uh, no, it is against okay. stun. Do I have disadvantage on saving throws too? Or is it just ability checks? It is saves as well. And this is con? Uh -huh. Plus four. Okay, so. So, so what? 19. Just roll your d20. 19 is a success. And then. 20, 20 is a success. Where's your success? zero? So, whatever just this is, then. 11. 11. Unless. Do you get anything for saving throws in a row? Not, not for con, only for deck saving throws. Okay. So 11's a fail. How did Hunter do? Do I have to roll? Yep. Uh, how far away is he? In the air? Uh, they're on the ground now. Oh, they're on the ground? Yep. Okay, I will roll. Sorry. They've landed. I got a... They would. Uh, 23? 23. Okay, so you're fine. Everyone except for Mara is fine. Uh, Mara is stunned. Oh no! That's a really bad thing! Bad. Um, That's really bad! The one that is next to Hunter now, since it didn't have to use its screech, is going to attack with its attacks against you. Does it reach too? Uh, no, it doesn't have reach, so it's going to have to land here instead. Uh, only one of them is going to hit. It's, it's Talons. Uh, so that's 14 slashing damage as it gets you with its talons, which is then halved down to 7. Yes. Um, Gloriana sees the two of you appear within the Ring of Fire. Oh, Gloriana goes before me. And she says, Oh, thank goodness! Health is on the way! <laughs> I knew that maybe luck wouldn't string me out to dry! Uh, and uh, she says in um, Thaddeus' direction, um, You've got to get me down, whatever you can! And you can take a d6 of bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. Harmony rolls her eyes. Then it's Harmony's turn. I'm going to pat Thaddy on the back and say, You've got this from here, right? I'm going to jump down. And I'm not going to wait for an answer, because I don't care. And I'm going to run straight at Gloriana. You're going to take a couple opportunity attacks. Okay. Uh, from two of the vulture creatures. And one from the uh, cultists. Can I stay out of his range? Or does he have a 10 foot range? Uh, it's pretty tight in here. Yeah. I don't see any way you're going to just be right here, right? Yeah, I don't I don't see how we should take him from the cultists. Unless well, that's he passes true. by. That's true. You don't have to take one from him. Thank you. Uh, but the two vulture creatures are going to make uh, <coughs> uh, talon attacks at you. Two natural 20s. I, I'm are not kidding. Someone look. Kidding Someone me? look. No, no, you're good. Um, yeah, not enough to withstand that. So, we might roll a little. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna actually have to roll these because there's no average. Damage. I was gonna use oh, shield, but there's like no. Wait, you're okay. Are you rolling? No, you're okay. That is his gotcha. I got you. Trust oh, yeah, yeah, you're sure. Trust yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, some clutch. 
This is really being a trying day for uh, you me. Take uh, 50 slashing damage. Yep, I'm down. Between the two okay. of them. As a reaction. That was one point more than what I had. Oh. As I spend two charges, as a reaction, I bring Harmony back up with 10 HP. Okay. Yep, so Thaddeus' shield glows with magical moonlight, which then flows into Harmony, and as you're losing consciousness and falling backward, uh, you falling feel forward. the breath of life come back into you, okay. and you're able to get up to Floriana. <laughs> Harmony, go! Go! I'm going to grab onto both of her arms and say, you can call me Lady Luck, and I dimension more as that. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, I want to go about... Let's see, I have a movement speed. Well, it doesn't really matter. I have about, I want to go about 150 feet that way. Or 100 feet okay. that way. I mean, counting from where here. You go. From here. Oh, so you're way down there. Because I want to get her out of here. Sure. Just... Um... <laughs> but I still want to be within 150 feet of this nonsense. And I still have movement speed. All right. But for now, you are way out of the way. That's what I'm doing, and I just drop to my knees and start coughing up blood because that hurt. <laughs> and Loriana, as uh, you're doing that, just sort of um, roll for wild magic. <laughs> true, good call. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Loriana says, "Praise Lady Luck, you're my savior." Yeah. Uh, I'll need your name later. Yeah. Uh, for now, it looks like your friends are in danger. Yeah, I know. I need to get <coughs> back there. <coughs> Can you find a place to hide or something so that our efforts aren't wasted? Uh, she looks around and she says, Yeah, I'll find some place. Don't you worry about me. Uh, I'm gonna... I can't, I can't do that because I'm out of Can you give slots. her one of your earrings so that we can find her after? Give her the earring you're wearing. Mm. We can't. That doesn't help us find her. That's just no. a message. It would help her contact us. But she has yeah. to be within... Um, Let's see. What do I have? What do I have? <laughs> she gets recaptured by something else, then all this is for nothing. I know. <laughs> um, hold on. I don't have anything. Yep, I don't have I don't have anything for her. Okay. So I'm just gonna just gonna tell her to hide and by the way, big fan. <laughs> she like, sort of looks at you and says, thank you? Uh, then it is Mara's turn. Unfortunately, you're stunned. Yeah. Uh, which means... Uh, incapacitated. Incapacitated, yeah. Uh, uh, can you wait an incapacitated person up? Or how do you use that? Well, I think you get a saving throw at the end of your turn. Well, well the, the way this one works, it's till the end of the creature's next oh. turn. So mm -hmm. Mara is unfortunately stuck for this turn, sort of unable to do anything. But it is Hunter's What's turn. What's my flying speed? Uh, same as your regular speed, isn't it? 30? Is it? Okay. I thought I wrote it down, and I wrote down the fuel, because I was excited about doing that conversion, and then I don't know if I actually wrote flying speed, so for now I'll just... Pretty sure I gave you 30. Okay, so flying, flying is 30. Okay. Um, Might have even been a bit slower, and I'll have to check my notes later, but okay. I don't feel like digging for it now. That's fine. So, could I run over here and pick Mara up and, like, fly away? Yes. But you're going to take opportunity attacks and things. I will. From everything. From all, oh. from three things. Yeah. Three goblins, a vulture-like creature, so and then everything. So these two, this, and this. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So I'm going to put my bow away, shield and sword, the bonus, and then I will two, three, four, five, and then pick Mara up, if I can do that. Yep. And then... So, <laughs> so fly backwards. So you're I'm just going to yeah, I'm gonna fly back there. and up. So I'll be okay, up so about cool. 20 feet. Okay. Uh, mark that with a d6 or something like that. Um, the goblins that get to attack you, there are three of them. Okay. Uh, two of them yeah, are at advantage fine. because yeah, he's truckless. One of them is here. Now. I'm coming back. Just wanted to deposit her somewhere. Far um, away. So one of them hits. Okay. Well, then what? 19 on the dice. No, I have a shield out. I know, I'm, I'm getting to his bonus. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Um, oh, he's on the nose. Sorry. Yep. So, with his scimitar, that is 25 to hit you. So, he's going to manage. Um, can I... Oh, I, need to... uh, I have parry, but... Okay, never mind. Uh, then the other one is going to get a total of 20 to try and hit you, so that's a miss. Yes. Um, 
And then the third one doesn't have advantage. Uh, rolls a 19. Why did they get advantage? Uh, because they used reckless yeah, attack on their last turn. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so the next one hits this roll with a 25. Okay. So actually, two hits. Two hits from me. Uh, okay. So take five slashing damage. That's already cut down. That's it. That's it. <laughs> from all those, uh, all those opportunity attacks. And then, then the vulture creature, which I forgot about. It's going to make a talent attack. Uh, which misses. Cool. Roll okay. five. Uh, ooh, ouch. My bones. Don't taunt the DM. <laughs> Don't taunt the DM. Don't taunt me. So, you already double crit harmony. Yeah, you certainly did. Can so I, I don't. I don't have. Oh wait, no. the bird missed, right? Yep. This one. Okay, thank you. The other one. Okay, never mind. You. Um, I don't have an action, right? I don't think that's true. Uh, no. Okay, so I will. You would not... have had to use your action to. Dash I did have to, to dash. Him. Okay, that's fine. So I will not. I wanted to like repost this guy and hit him for one damage, but I can't do that. Or flamethrower him. <laughs> that's fine. Oops. It's okay. I can't. Yeah, he's not very stable. I'll just put Mara up there because I think her. Yeah, that's a flat one. So we're flying. They can't we're reach still up I don't think they can reach us. Sweet. We'll see. Maybe they have like they're gonna like stack. Where I would tell you, thank nope. you if she could. What they're going to do is they're going to pull out javelins. Oh boy! And between the two of you, how many goblins are there? Can you count them up? They only get Three, one six, javelin. Nine. Each, but... uh, and then this one's ten, I guess. So five hundred. So you said nine total. There's well, this one. If this one's a goblin, that's ten. It is. Okay. So you're going to each take five javelin attacks. Oh. Uh, they'll send them more at Hunter, actually. So Mara will only can take I, like, two just, Can I just, like, pull her this way? Unfortunately, no. Okay. You're, like, surrounded. Uh, but oh, I see. No, Hunter is only taking on eight javelin attacks. Okay, that's fine. Only eight. I've got to hit at least once, right? Uh, nope. On the first two. Uh, 17 plus 6, 23. Oh, that hits. On the second two. Ouch, bones. Uh, 19 on the so that's a miss for the next two, and the last two for Hunter. Two misses. So one javelin hits you. Uh, Where were those help. odds when you were trying to hit me? Help. Uh, for... Wait, you don't have that much, that's much AC, though. Like, uh, I mean, it's the same thing with... It's the same thing. It's the same Five thing damage, okay. half down to two. <sighs> However, Mara, they're going to be at advantage because she's stunned. Yes. Uh, so there's a hit, and the next javelin... Is another hit. Of course! Uh, so you're going to take uh, 10 piercing damage. Okay. You're still alive? Yeah, I've got 20 okay. left. So I can't like wake her up, right? On my turn? Uh, I couldn't do that? No. Okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry, when you're well, that could be paralyzed, though. I've got it right here. Stun creature is incapacitated, creature fails. Nope, it just says they have advantage. Okay. I'm Excellent. thinking paralyzed, mm -hmm. I think. I think you are. Yeah, I'm thinking okay. paralyzed. Yeah, it just says yeah. attack rolls. Alright, then that's not as bad. Um so then oh, uh, you're like this guy. The goblins who are head. in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thaddeus, yeah. you watch as well, the goblin like cultist pretty, leader grabs one awesome. of the other goblins, pulls him over the totem pole, yeah, and stabs him like... with that dagger, <laughs> and uh, blood begins to pour from him. Mm -hmm. Into there, as this goblin is now dead, um, and this goblin is standing here, um, and as he does, uh, you hear a rumbling coming from the volcano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured that was coming. Um, and that one other goblin who's in the wall of fire is going to come and attack you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's going to give it his best. Uh, uh, 18? Nope. So, nope. Um, <laughs> you begin to hear that rumbling. We should try 22. Yeah, I'll and see how that's 21 then... right now. He's been more than blind. Oh my gosh. It's okay, I'll bark skin next to the spell level. That's concentration, right? And yeah, but I'll just use it on your point. Oh, I should use. I have Long Strider. I could have gone so far. The, I don't um. The mountain that you're standing in front of erupts with a pillar of water, uh, and I need you and everyone else who's there, uh, except for Harmony and Gloriana, because they're far enough away, uh, to make dexterity saving throws. Even though we're in the air? Yep. 
Oh. Also, no, the goblins can't. are going to make this too. I think. <sighs> it's a 19 for me. It's a success. Well done. Uh, I got a 14. I believe that's also a success. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, Mara automatically fails. Okay. And she's still stunned. Sorry. Uh, it's until that. Where are my notes on this encounter? They're right there, Ethan. Uh, yep, I found it. I found <laughs> it. What did you say you got? Something? That's a success. And then Mara fails. I'm going to say that all the goblins fail because I don't want to roll for them. And I'm just <laughs> going to roll for the demons. Actually, I believe the demons are pretty resistant to fire. So. Yes, they're resistant to it. Resistant to it. Resistant to it. So I'm just going to make this save for the uh, cultist leader and apply the damage to everyone else. Uh, the cultist leader succeeds as well. Um, so then everyone else is going to take coverage damage. Which I can get down half, right? Uh, you're not going to take any damage because you succeeded. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is like fire spewing or water or? It is a, it's like a spurt of boiling hot water that then just rains down on everyone. Okay. Uh, I need to apply. I that it's like hiding under a shield. A lot of damage to a lot of people. You've been under all kinds of elements today. <laughs> Snow, <laughs> boiling rain. What's next? Yeah, every single uh, climate. <laughs> oh, that's coming up. Oh, <laughs> you're you're, you're um, tweeting about you're like a weatherman or something. <laughs> fire, <laughs> so Mara takes uh, uh, twenty-one points of fire Ooh. damage. Oh, and has boiling not dead. water. Unconscious. Yeah. She's oh, unconscious. No. Boiling so water falls on you. No, 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 you're zero. I'm gonna give her a good you dirty. Don't go <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what they're for. That's what they're for. Uh, and then Thaddeus, as the volcano oh, erupts, yeah. you watch in horror yeah. as a claw <laughs> grips uh -huh. the edge of it. <laughs> grips uh -huh. the edge of it, and uh, cool. your friend from last night climbs up out of the pit, just arm by arm. That's um, cool. We're not here to kill everything. We're here to kill the guy that I have declared my enemy, and then we're together. Yeah, we just need his head, and then we. we That's it true. That is true. Ah, dang it! Too bad. I Does it take a full step concentration? It is not. Yeah, At I'm some point. Whip him. Oh shit. Well, I'm, I might be able to lose my concentration. Uh, he cannot gore you, which is okay. good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. But uh, he is going to do something. Does it take an action to use to like revive somebody? Yes. Where, 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 yeah. Yes. Where, are we on, where are we on the initial? Oh, we just in the spot. Uh, we are on like you thirteen right before you. So I don't have my you give someone a good bear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's an action to feed someone else a potion or to give someone else. Okay. I really wish I had that. Oh, I have a really good potion that you give me. two fist attacks. Uh, one of them is a miss mm -hmm. at 15. One of them is a hit at 26. Okay. And then the hooves is also a hit at 28. Okay. Uh, so taking average damage, you're going to take 43 points of damage. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. And then you yeah. need to make a strength saving. Forget the head. Get out of there. I can't because my concentration on haste is broken. Well, it's two separate things, so you could still succeed. Yeah, it's two. Oh, that's true. What's the name of the demon? A Garistro. Yep. Make a strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. okay. Do your best. Eighteen. <laughs> uh, does not succeed, so you are knocked prone in your space. Cool. Eighteen. Um, and yeah. basically, what happens is, as it approaches you, it slams down hard with one fist, which you manage to catch on your shield, but it throws your arm back, and then it gets you with another fist. And then as you're reeling from that, it stomps on you with its hoe. Alright, that was 43 damage, you said? Yes. Uh, but it's oh. two saving throws for concentration. What are the, what's the highest damage, right? Uh, 23. Okay. So you need an 11. Okay, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, 10 and an 11. Okay. I have a plus 6 con. This is up. Oh, I rolled the 1. Cool. Okay. So haste is, and that means you lose your turn too, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Cool. Things just got very bad for that. Well, I mean, things have been bad. 
Um, I told you guys we shouldn't have just... What can we do? <laughs> we shouldn't have just run in. I told you. These, lucky for you, these monkeys can't do anything. So they pick up their drums and really begin to play on them. After they threw them? Yep. Yeah, all their attacks are physical and their only enemies are flying right now. So they can't do anything. Good job, babe. They're going to get closer. Okay. So did all the goblins take damage? Are they... Is this guy dead? Oh yeah, he's yeah. dead. Got um, him! One down, guys. Actually, a lot of these goblins are dead. Oh, cool. Uh, this guy's dead, too. Okay. Um, oh, crud crap. Okay. Oh, I skipped over Thaddeus before I got to the monkeys. But what is oh, yeah. what exactly happens when haste runs out? Uh, I lose a turn because I'm exhausted. Uh, let's see. Let's just make sure you um, can't do anything. When the spell ends, which it just did, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn. Yeah, so you're stuck. That's bad. That's very bad. You can't move this time? Can't move or take action. Okay. Uh, these... I do get reactions now. For all that's worth. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So I can cast shield and hope that things... Uh. <laughs> hope that things roll below 27. Yeah. Oh no, roll, between, roll below 25. Do I see yeah. this happening from where I am? Or am I like in the, oh, the ring tree of line? The or? ring of fire is in the way. So I don't see. Is he taller than the, wing, the ring of fire? Yes. So I actually, you can like... see his big horns poking out over the ring of fire. Okay, in that case. They're gonna get up close, but they can't quite get to you, so they're kind of circling you. Okay. Um, Gloriana, seeing all this happening. Uh, Wait, you had bark inspiration. Did you use that? Can you use that? You. On saving throws? I mean, look, you, let me look. you can't use it to knock off an enemy. So Gloriana would have to do that to so, so that. But you could use it on your own saving throw against something, right? Which you didn't need. No. A creature can roll the die and add oh, it to an ability save. check, attack roll, or saving throw. Your con save. Okay, so one plus six. So that's a three. seven. I need a four. Well, no, I need a three. Mm -hmm. It was a ten. What, what was the die that Gloriana gives? A d6. A d6. Mm -hmm. That's what I've got. Six. So you so pass you your pass. saving throw. And so I get my turn. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Good job. Clutch. Yeah. Clutch. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I was about to give the inspiration to someone else, so you yeah. would have remembered anyways. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Um, okay. Three attacks against dude here. Gonna stand up and do it? Yeah, I can stand up and do it. Against the Grace or against the, the Chief? Against the Chief, the guy who uh, the guy who I, he's the only one I need to kill. Yeah, okay. that's true. They're all at advantage because I've named my enemy. Oh man, come on. Come on, wreck him! Smite him! <laughs> Almighty Smiter! That's a 29 to hit. That's a hit. It's a 28 to hit. It's a hit. Come on. And a 16 to hit. That also doesn't. Okay. Just barely yeah. enough. On the first blow, I'm going to put on a level three divine smite. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't you don't need to separate any of the damage for this. Okay. Time. I pull out my hand. Like, I made a hand to list. It's like, when I do a divine smite, how many dice are up there? At level three, it is 68 right there. And a 1d8. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Or someone killed the last one, but not for now. Okay. Pretty sure he's going to drop concentration on this wall of five, so get ready for that. Yeah. That would be good. I would hope so. Uh, uh, 30 on the first hit. Yep, he drops concentration <laughs> instantly. Okay. That's good because I'm going to need that for my bonus action once I finish with this guy. Uh, second hit is going to be a level 2 divine smite. <laughs> How much damage did you say? 30? 30. I know, right? Good roll. 
Was it mad that far out of my conscious? <laughs> no! She hadn't gotten stunned. Yeah, that's really bad. I tried to save you. Why did you find Cristobal of Daisies? Okay. <laughs> well, he did just summon it. How's he looking? Very, very, very injured. Alright. I have to use the first level on the last hit then. Don't you want to chop off his head on the last one? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. See if it happens. See if it happens. Um, on the last one, he is going to cast, uh, um, use his reaction to do, uh, where is it? Um, it's the one that Harmony can do. Hell should be. Oh, okay. Because he can do that. It's one of his skill slots. So I'll roll that, you roll your I get a, I get a save, though. Yep. That's, that's true. A, yeah, that's it's a deck, a save. deck save, which you'll have, have advantage on. 2d10. So I got a nat 20 on that. Okay, so you succeed. Uh, Swap one of your attack rolls for that. <laughs> 30 more damage. Is he dead? He is dead, but let me give you some damage for okay. the Hellish Rebuke. The Hellish Rebuke. It's gonna... <laughs> uh, 20, uh, 24, which you have down to 12, okay. and then need to make a concentration check. Yep. Please. A 10. Okay. Uh, so you cut through him as, like, your sword cuts through the mm -hmm. flames that he produces with his Hellish Rebuke. Um, you hit him once, twice, then the Hellish Rebuke comes out and, like, flames erupt, and then your cold sword cuts through that to lop off his head, which then goes spiraling back off into oh, the no, volcano. Oh no, we need that head! Uh, it doesn't go spiraling back <laughs> off into the volcano, it falls to the you ground. for the ground, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, just would have been so cinematic. It, yeah. it, <laughs> it spirals up and down. <laughs> uh, yeah. Under your um, floor. The volcano doesn't want it. It spits it back out. <laughs> Alright. Thaddeus takes the head. Bonus action, Misty Step. Okay. That was where I was sitting that last level two slot. How far can you go? Three feet. No, 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 not that way. Where do you want to go? Uh, can, I, can I go down the other way? That way? This way? No, not that way. Um, well, so like this is like a round thing, right? Yes. Okay. You're at the top of the mountain. I assumed you wanted to get as far away as possible, which is strange. I did, but I don't want to like... Well, most of those goblins are dead now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go for that. 30? Get yeah. back to there. Now put me 60 feet further, because <laughs> that's my move action. Okay. Well, here's the point where you could duck around. I mean, couldn't you just go six, like some and then Misty Step and then the rest? No, because then I would have provoked the lanes. You're going to make it off the oh, mountain. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I have 10 extra feet of movement, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, even circling around the goblins, you're going to make it off the mountain. Uh, which is good because then uh, the rocks that are next to you okay, would have. That was had my entire turn. That was it. You did it. Good job. <laughs> Divine Smite is awesome. Uh, you grab just the head, though, right? Yes, because I think not that's... the dagger. Not the dagger. Sixty. You grab the dagger? Listen, <laughs> there was a lot happening. <laughs> um. So. Getting close to Hunter with these guys, I need Hunter to make a constitution saving throw, as uh, one of them lets out a screech. Uh, how does a 25 do? Does it just fine. Uh, so you feel it trying to stun you and like uh, distract you, uh, but you resist that <laughs> effect. You. <laughs> I'm um, busy. The other two that have made it next to you are going to use their multi-attack against you. So okay. Here comes a uh, beak and a talon. Okay. Uh, they have to beat what? A 21? 21. I don't think they do it. So the second beacon talent. Uh, nope, they don't do it. Okay. Nope. A one and a two. Uh, Gloriana then uh, turns to Harmony and says, Looks like your friends are making way, but there's still a little bit of a ways to go, so you do what you can and I'll be hiding here, okay? Great, thanks. And uh, you have a bardic inspiration. Okay. Harmony. Is it an action or a bonus action to drink a potion? 
Uh, drink one yourself. Bonus yes. action. Okay, I'm gonna drink a greater feeling. According person. to our house rule. Yeah. Is it normally an action? Yeah. I'm gonna feed it to somebody else. So it can tell you. Uh, okay. I'm gonna drink a greater healing potion. How many D eight is that? Or D four? Four D four plus four. Okay. <clears throat> Looking it up. And there's like round two. Oh man, I did not roll. Wow, that's well. not good. Mm. Potion of healing. Greater healing. Still twice what I have. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, they don't all show up with Potion burn. of Healing in here. Is it in... It's in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Potion of Greater Healing. The only one in the Player's Handbook is the regular one. Okay. Or is it in Athar's? I don't think it's in the Athar's. Is it like Comma Greater? No, there's just one entry, but it like it says. Oh, I see. Different tabs. Well, I think there's an entry that's just right here. There's like a table. You know what doesn't lose batteries? Greater healing is 44 plus 4. Okay, I got it. Alright, well, that's um, 24 plus 6 plus 4 is 10. So I'm up to 20 HP. There you go. Okay. It's better than I was. And then, let's see. Okay, um, how far are Mara and Hunter from me? Uh, you said you went like another 150 feet that way. Away from where the monkey was. Right, was so they're maybe a hundred feet away from him. Okay, good. Then I'm going to cast Wind Wall. Um, do I have enough? Do I have enough to cast Wind Wall? Yeah, it's only three charges. So yeah. And your Yep. <clears throat> so I'm going to cast Wind Wall because the range on that is, I think, 120 feet. And. I'm going to, it's 50 feet long, 15 feet high, and one foot thick. But I basically want to position it, like, basically on top of all those goblins in, like, a kind of W shape. So, like, this around Hunter and Mara, and then back to hit the two monkeys. Okay. <clears throat> so, basically, you're just trying to wall everyone. I'm trying to wall the bad guys out. Okay. So that they do, can get away. Does anyone in the wall have to make a save? Because that uh, vulture creature is going to have to. Yes. Save. Well, I want the wall to hit everybody. Ah. I want to place it on top of them. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. And it says, when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a strength saving throw. All right. We'll do one for the goblins. Fail. Uh, we'll do one for each of the monkeys. This is something they're good at. They might actually succeed. They can participate now. <laughs> um, let's see. One fail. Two fails for the monkeys. What can I use inspiration on? Uh, Tackles, ability, ability checks, checks and saving throws. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely not. And the vultures fail. Well, well, everyone fails. Well, I didn't roll above a six. Small or size. smaller flying creatures or objects can't pass through the wall, but they, they're not small. Nope. Arrows, bolts, and other projectiles launched at targets within the wall. Automatically what miss. To things that feel their save, though? Um, they take 3d8 bl bludgeoning. Okay. Boulders hurled by giants or siege engines or similar projectiles are unaffected. Mm. Alright. So. What giant monkey drums? <laughs> well, this one's a 7 anyway. Oh, it's a 7. That was a 1. Yeah. 11 bludgeoning damage and half on a successful save. No, they all fail. But they all fail. So 11 bludgeoning damage. It's not much, but <laughs> hopefully it'll keep. Projectiles from hitting them, which is the point. Oh, oh, oh did I just yeah. take all those out in one? Yeah. Nice. With, their, uh, with the uh, damage they took from the volcano already, yes, you did. Yeah, nice. Um, that was worth it then. And that was my amulet that you guys hate so much. I didn't say anything about the amulet. <laughs> Team amulet, great play. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because my, I, I my really DC wanna, is 19. I really want to force that player character to divide an opinion on the amulet. No, that was Harmony saying that yeah. was the amulet you guys hate so much. Oh, and also... I know um, players love it. Did you go through this guy? If I can, yeah. 
it was kind of a big W shape, don't think but you it's can only make it one foot wide, so. Yeah, you can't quite make it to him, I That's fine. Um, but he can't, yeah. In which case, then, if that's the end of your turn. Um, is Thaddy here? Uh, Thaddy has made his way pretty close to you. He's maybe 50 feet from you. Okay. And he's gripping the head of this goblin. Okay. Uh, by its horns, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll just point at the Garistro and say, do you want me to take care of that? So, no, run, run, we got everything. All right. Wait, wait, change... Where's Gloriana? I'll turn, well, she's still right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. she's like, like, like 50 feet away. Maybe yeah. she's hiding. I'll turn, yeah. Take Gloriana and go. I'll turn no. to Gloriana and be like, change your plans, we're leaving. Okay. She <laughs> says, all right. Uh, Mara, you've regained, uh, well, no, you're still unconscious. So why don't you make me a death saving throw? Oh, no! Which okay. is a d20 plus nothing. Which one? This one. <gasps> Which one? Which one failed the con save? Don't use that one. Was oh, it that no, one? Did that one fail the con save? It's a, it's a, it's a fail. So that's Some one failed failure. death saving throw. So, oh. um, did these guys fly up to hit me? Yes. Okay. Um, then it is Hunter's turn. Trust me. Okay. Um, yeah, but still. So I still have my sword out. Still, so we don't know what the I am going are. to. That could be weird. Something could happen. I'm going to make two sword attacks, one on each of these. Okay. And um, that is Hunter, not good. Hunter, fucking give her a good berry. Oh. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen against these guys. I don't think. Let me check. That's not we can make you. You can feed it to you. He can chew it uh, up and then spit it in your mouth. Okay. So, <laughs> tripping attack on this one. Like a baby bird, but so he can't because he doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just passes. Like, just passes. Yep. Okay, well, fine. Well, actually, what's the DC? It's, he got a 22. He passes. <laughs> what's the DC? It's, um... Nobody, nobody has a 22. 19. He rolled a 19 plus 3. So. I could spend luck. Mm. But okay, I have another one. pretty high. I have a couple more tricks up my okay. sleeve. So that, just the damage is 12 magic slashing. And I'll do another attack. That is another 15. Well, two Different guys? Um, same one. Tripping okay. attack again. I'm probably not that much taller than that. I have a couple more. Here. Yeah. This time he fails. Okay, so he falls. And he takes... Oh, there you go. How high up for you? Uh, 20 feet. He takes 14 magic slashing, and then I'll swing at the other one, and that one will hit. That's a 27. And that'll be another tripping attack. My last one on that one. And he rolls a natural 20, so he's fine. Okay, never mind then. Well, okay, so that's 9, 16 magic slashing on that one. And then I will use my movement to fly this away. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'll take an opportunity that I didn't want to take. Do you guys know if when he moves away with Mara, the thing can attack Mara? I'm gonna say no. I'm, I'm looking for like an honest rule thing here because <laughs> I, don't, I don't, know. don't know. I mean, I would assume so. I know that when something takes an opportunity to attack when you're in mounted combat, it can choose what it wants to attack. I'm not saying I'm going to attack Mara. I just want to know if I can. It, I oh, think you can. I don't know if that rules are. I, don't I know, know in mounted either. combat there are. You can yeah. choose which one. Yeah. But I don't know if you're dragging something. Let me look up the rules for an object attack because it might say that it might say it might say you have to like hit the thing that is moving. In which case that would be the hunter. That's what. Yeah. I mean. I mean. That's I would what like, might I would like to think that way. Say. Yeah, I would like to think that way. She has one fail, you guys. I know. If she gets hit, but I'm not how saying how many she's fails dying. Two attack how many fails? I just I want to know if I can. Getting hit is two fails. It is. Then she's dead. No. Yeah. Because it's an auto crit against her. So she make dies. Yeah. H. Oh. To make the opportunity, well, I didn't know you that. use your reaction yeah, to make one melee attack against the provoking creature. Okay. Or so I, it will attack. So okay, I would have retconned something if I knew that was possible. But it's going to attack you. It can't attack. That's fine. Okay, but that's okay. That's why I was trying to do trips yeah, first. Yeah. Uh, and it misses. Of okay. course. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I will move away, and then I will. Okay, we'll see what happens unless he reveals by his right. Action surge, give her a good berry, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh uh, Mara, you come back to one hit point as a berry he processor. Can do a good berry! Oh, okay, action surge gave you a good berry. Um, 
And okay. I don't, I don't know why you waited so long. Well, I mean, what do you mean? I was trying to make so we didn't take opportunity attacks. I know. Yeah, okay. I'm giving you a hard time. That's turn. fine. That's fine. Um, I don't think I can do anything with my bonus actions right now. Am I not stunned so... anymore now? No. Uh, you were not stunned. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're One whole HP. What? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything. Does that mean her bonuses. death saves are reset? Yes. yes, it does. How far away are you flying? As far away as I can towards so the party. Feet. Yeah. Um, I really want double double move, but you still can. You you. I can't. You, well, he's used, used, used all of his actions. I, he uses bonus action, action, search, action search. Search. I, I, I do not get a move on action search. I don't. Action you get an action and a bonus action. You don't get. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you can take one additional action. It's not like haste. And a and a bonus action. Um. That's so it. I think what you guys see as the rest of you are making your way away from the battlefield is this Goristro charges down the mountain and grabs one of the monkeys and rips it apart oh and just bellows out across the jungle. <laughs> and uh, that's where we're going to end tonight's session with you guys making it off into the jungle with this thing furiously ripping into the remaining demons and just tearing them apart. Okay. And now it's a random encounter on the encounter table. Oh boy. Okay, nice. that's cool. Yep. Yeah. We're, all, we're all in fine shape, right? We Good got job. the head and we saved um, Gloriana! Well, Mission accomplished! <laughs> Look, good job with a really hard encounter. Okay! Yeah. That would have been a lot less hard if I had all my spell slots, you guys. Yep. Well, well, also, well if you had all your spell slots, Gloriana would be dead. What? Gloriana would be dead. Why? Because they were about to sacrifice her. Be taking oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's true. It's I true. thought you meant I would have caused no, it. No. Gloriana would have been dead. Yeah, I know. Just I know. like Hillary. <laughs> I think that yeah. is him. Can Thaddeus revive people who have yes. been dead? Longer? I was saving a spell slot for that. Okay. Just in case something terrible happens. I was pretty sure you could revive people. I have revived if I prepared. But I always isn't, do. Isn't Revivify like that so, it has to be done right away? It, it has is. to be done within one minute. Right. So, so if we so come the next day and she was dead, yeah. we could I'm going to just say I moved about the movement here with my boots plus, what, maybe another hundred or so? Uh, so I'm going to subtract that off the fuel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Before you're away. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, so, so thank you to anyone who watched. Uh, that was a very, very tough combat. Um, and everyone survived, and it was great. No fun. It was so great. <laughs> I, mean, so I, I know, know. I know. No, our I'm first so turn was the best. The, How could you discount that? The first turn was really good. The first turn was Yeah, and then so it good. didn't do hardly any damage. It did so much though. damage. Poop. I, look, I have magic items planned for Mara, don't worry. <laughs> you know, you've been saying yeah, that for like back. 10 you episodes. You just left one of them behind. The dagger. The yeah, dagger. I figured the dagger oh, yeah. was for her. Maybe you circle back later. We'll yeah, I mean, we episode. can always come back for it. Not like there's anybody left alive here to take it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go do it. I'll get it. Fine. Part and everything. So, right now. like not I now. said, thank you to anyone who watched. We'll be back again uh, next Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. The VOD will be up right after this, or the video will hit YouTube on Wednesday. Uh, so you can check those out. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, man.